In the great Sherlock Holmes tale, his best, The Hound of the Baskerville, the bleak setting is that great mist-shrouded bog called the Grimpen Mire. It swallows in darkness, marsh, and mephitic vapors all who unwisely enter it. Now, when I think of the Grimpen Mire, my thoughts turn immediately to the great grim patronage pit we know as the Senate. It's becoming more clear with each day that the Senate, far, far from being the decorous chamber of sober second thought, is a political Grimpen Mire, a sluggish place for great displays of theatrical anger, of senators accusing one another of conspiring against each other, of backstabbing and character assassination. I'm not sure whom we should cast as the great menacing hound itself, with his phosphorus face and bark from hell, but depending on the partisan divide, I'm sure everybody has nominations for that role. I don't see how all the self-serving theatrics from all involved this week as performance of the high public duties on behalf of the Canadian citizenry. Indeed, it is all, despite the issues ultimately at play, very claustrophobic. One set of insiders having a grand row with another set of insiders. Ms. Wallen's claims yesterday about the jealousy of former Senate leader Marjorie Le Breton and Carolyn Olson resembled a political version of the upscale 80s soap opera Dallas. Nor could Mike Duffy's great aria on Tuesday be ever confused with Atticus Finch at his finest. And Stephen Harper's, till yesterday, rebuff of every question, his refusal to engage or elaborate, plus his instinct to purge first and query later, won't be a golden moment in Hansard or any other handbook of the way we live now. His attitude during this, aloof and sternly unresponsive, has fueled the universal outrage. Note that only after the threat of suspension without pay did we get the appeal to the high ideals of the rule of law and protecting democracy and even human rights. All very good, but it seems to everyday Canadians that it's a little late in the day for this body in particular, which has been run for decades on its own admittedly sloppy rules, with lax to no oversight, with little scruple about tracking how it lets senators spend, a high-paid, prestigious club of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, it's late now to pose as the house of the deepest principles and ideals of Canadian democracy. Senators mainly get into the Senate on influence and connections, not democracy. They're picked by their buddies. It's a reward, a gift, the finest, fattest, roundest plum in the great patronage fruit basket. And as with the horrid bogs of the Grimpen Mire, once anyone steps in, the ooze claims them. And as we've seen this week, all the players in this mess, Duffy, Wallen, Brazeau, Harb, the Prime Minister and his fixers, all are less, are smaller, shriveling in dignity, because of it. The Senate, the Hound of the Baskervilles, and Halloween. Can you honestly tell which is which? For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.